just a typical field, field collection day. We're up at Morris Creek trying to get a mess of crayfish. And uh, we're using a kick net technique where we flip the rocks, scoop with the net, and uh, in here, because of the nice clear water, we're actually being able to spot them. Uh, well, we're catching crayfish, we're trying to. Um, flip over rocks and hopefully you net one as they swim away. Uh, well, we're looking at uh, the toxicology and like toxic things in the water. So uh, what we find out, you know, we'll be able to apply like, oh, uh, say there's you know, mining activity and they're letting heavy metals into the water and then you know, it's killing off the invertebrates or stuff like that. Um, but mostly just looking at the, um, the toxicity of the water that we're in. Yeah, sure. So what we're doing is we're actually using crayfish as a model um, uh, to basically that to serve as an indicator for exposure to contaminants in the environment. And we're really working on a two-part study here. The first part is to actually look at, we have markers in the tissue that respond to contaminants in the environment. And as part of the study, we go out and we are collecting crayfish from various sites in Idaho. And we're looking to see whether these markers vary among sites. Um, and then a second part of the study, what we're doing is we're collecting uh, crayfish, bringing them back to the lab, and we're exposing them to um, specific chemicals to see whether the markers respond um, the same way as they would respond in uh, many vertebrates. There's a lot of fish that are used as toxicology models. And what we're interested in doing here is developing an invertebrate model um, to study the response of um, wildlife to contaminants in the environment. Uh, well, it's, it's really cool, first off. I mean, you know, there's not a whole lot of places where you can work you know, this closely with a faculty member and uh, you know, really get the hands-on experience you need especially for you know, jobs down the road or you know, med school or anything like that. But you know, it's really important to have you know, the opportunity to learn this closely and interactively where you have to you know, synthesize your own knowledge and like, figure stuff out on your own. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a fabulous opportunity. I'm a transfer student from Boise State and I never would have got anything near this kind of one-on-one -on -one faculty opportunity um, there. I mean, you've got 24,000 people vying for, you know, maybe 50 research spots. So um, it's it's a great opportunity. To, you know, Dr. Gunderson not only oversees us, mentors us, but he's out in the field with us, which is really cool because he's he's right next to us doing it. Is exactly the same work that we have to do. He doesn't expect anything of us that he wouldn't do himself. Mm -hmm.